below. We will look into the important quality assurance tools and techniques in this video. First is, Affinity Diagram. Affinity Diagram is used to generate ideas that can be linked, form organized patterns of thought about a problem. Let's take an example. Say the sale of a restaurant is dropping and the management wants to understand the cause of this. In this case, the experts will come together and all the ideas are gathered. Then these ideas are grouped into various possible categories like quality, service, delivery, price etc. Next is Process Decision Program Chart which is also called PDPC. This technique is used to understand a goal in relation to the steps for getting to the goal. Let's take the example of passing Six Sigma exam which is the goal. Then it been split into two main tasks as learn material and take exam. Then each of this task is then decomposed to the required steps. Next is, interrelationship digraphs. This technique is used for creative problem solving in moderately complex scenarios that possess intertwined logical relationships for up to 50 relevant items. Like shown in the example, each reason has been mentioned inside the circle and all the related reasons are connected by an arrow. Next is tree diagram. This technique is used to represent decomposition hierarchies and to visualize parent-child relationship. As shown in the example, to obtain the maximum customer satisfaction, determined factors are good food, good service and pleasant surroundings. Each of these factors are connected to the customer satisfaction and the parent-child relationship has been shown using tree diagram. Next technique is prioritized matrices. This technique is used to identify the key issues and the suitable alternatives to be prioritized as a set of decisions for implementation. Let's take an example of increased customer dissatisfaction in a healthcare setup. To find out the major issue to prioritize, each possible causes are enumerated and along with weighted frequency, importance and feasibility. Then based on the total score, each issues are prioritized. Next technique is Activity Network Diagrams. Activity Network Diagrams are used with project scheduling methodologies. Now let's see the Matrix Diagram. The Matrix Diagram seeks to show the strength of relationships between factors, causes and objectives. Here is an example where a restaurant home delivery quality improvement study. You can see here how each objective is related to each of the factors along with the strength. Last technique is quality audit. A quality audit is a structured, independent process to determine if project activities comply with organizational and project policies, processes, and procedures. Identify all good and best practices being implemented. Identify all non-conformity, gaps, and shortcomings. Share good practices introduced or implemented in similar projects in the organization or industry. Proactively offer assistance in a positive manner to improve implementation of processes to help the team raise productivity. Highlight contributions of each audit in the Lessons Learned repository of the organization.